Hey there guys, looking at a light today from a company called Creativity, not Creativity, but Creativity, C-R-E-T-I-V-I-T-Y, and it is a 700 watt foldable LED bar light, as you can see here. This light, let's start off with the most important element here, is extremely good value for money, it's extremely cheap. It retails at $599 plus shipping. However, do have some small issues with it. Um, first, it's not going to win any design awards. It's a little bit clunky and uh, basic in its construction, but that's understandable given its pricing. You're not going to get all the bells and whistles. Driver wiring is a little bit untidy. Um, nothing wrong with it per se, but um, a little bit clunky looking with the uh, three drivers mounted on the back plates. And it doesn't have as much heat sinking as some other grow lights would have. So it runs a little bit hotter. However, as I said, it's extremely good value for money and it is ETL listed. Um, so it has been checked over and has been passed, uh, it has passed thorough inspection um, for quality and safety. So it is a light that I'm happy to test. And really for those on a budget looking to fill up to a five by five, this light will fill. Um, this is extremely good value and not to be um, dismissed. I tested the grow light spectrum. It's definitely a full spectrum light. It's color temperature is around 3,700 K. So neutral sort of in between um, warm and cool, but plenty of blue for full cycle growing to keep dense, uh, to keep growth short and dense and you got the 616 added 660 nanometer red leds for increased system efficiency both from an electrical and a photosynthetic uh, point of view it's got three drivers mounted on the back each driver um, powering two led bars um, and they're all linked up together to a dimming box here so you can manually adjust um, on board the dimming up and down and it also has links here, RJ14 um, connections for um, daisy chain. This is the higher performance fixture of the range with uh, marked as 2.7 micromoles per joule. That of course is its total light output uh, in photon terms divided by its wattage. And I as always have put it into the system test. So put it, dropped it into a four by four test area specifies a hanging height between 6 inches and 24 inches. Um, 6 inches I think is a bit too low for this fixture. Um, put it in at the minimum height that I thought was um, reasonable at 30 centimeters or 12 inches and took um, 64 power measurements with the spot-on quantum sensor across the simulated plant canopy to um, measure the total power output being delivered to the um, theoretical plant canopy. So the average power output was 1090 micromoles um, given the um, power consumption of 704.6 watts the system efficiency was 2.23 micromoles per watt which is a really good system efficiency particularly for this price range and uh, quite impressed. It is a little bit high in the center. You're just sort of into that area where uh, it could be argued you need to be supplementing CO2. Typically it's said over a thousand micromoles you should be supplementing um, or increasing the um, CO2 levels up to about the equivalent in CO2, so a thousand um, ppm. However, if you raise this fixture a little bit higher, uh, maybe 45 centimeters or 18 inches, that center measurement is going to drop considerably closer to 1,000 micromoles and the corner measurements will increase also. Slightly higher, less efficiency, but um, still very good numbers. You could um, also fit this into a 5x5. Five five. The, um, you're going to get about 750 micromoles average which is very good for a 5x5 five five. it's a good performance level this light really is a lot of bang for buck as i said at the start very very good value for money some issues with it in terms of um, the quality of the finish and um, the look of the light basically 
But having said that, it's passed high end um, or high demand quality tests in terms of ETL listing and performs very well in the test. So, you know, you get what you pay for really. And in this case, you can get a hell of a lot of light, hell of a lot of photons um, for very little money. $500 is just extraordinarily good value for this, um, this product. Looking forward to see what you think. Please leave your comments below and um, let us know what you think and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.